I like to see myself as a facilitator. You know, I'm not an expert, I'm not an art historian. I like the collaborative effort between the curators, the artists, us, the, the government. You always are learning new things, you know, you're discovering new ideas and developing, you know, your community in the urban space, the public uh, domain. Art has always been, or culture has always been, part of our identity, whether it's preserving heritage, archaeology, excavation, collecting uh, all sorts of art, you know, Islam went from Spain to China, so it, it, it covered many people and many embraced, uh, you know, many uh, forms of art, as you can see in our galleries in the museum. Anyone can celebrate art and it's so powerful because it brings people from all walks of life together to talk about ideas. idea. So art and culture for us is an informal way of education. It doesn't stop, there's no limit to it. You know, you think you've seen it all and then you discover something new or a new movement and, and you're a student again and you have to learn all about it. If you look at contemporary art today, I, I don't think artists necessarily see themselves belonging to a country or a nationality. It's very global, it's very international. Art today is very different than what it was, you know, 100 years ago, and our artists can learn a lot from that, and hopefully we'll see them on the international scene. When we invited artists such as Murakami or Damien Hirst, it was to bring the most important contemporary artists of that time to, to exhibit here. And we are very clear with the artists, we say, look, you're free to decide on your exhibition, but you're not free to be, you know, insulting to our culture or tradition. So we, we do give them a lot of freedom under the pretext of respect. We have a policy of not commenting on our acquisitions. We could have bought the works you think we bought, we could have not bought it. But all I know is as we build our museums and you see the collections, um, you will know you know, what Qatar has bought and what were rumors all along. There's many things that people have said Qatar has bought and then you've seen it hanging on in a different museum or in a different uh, gallery. So don't believe everything that you read. <laughs>